I'm Mike from The Contortionist, and you're watching Worship in Tribute Nerd. What's up, guys? My name is Mike. Some know me as Rick Shaw. Welcome to Worship in Tribute Nerd. I'm here with Mike Lassard from The Contortionist. Man. Good, how are you? Doing good, doing good. It's been a while since we hung out. It has been a while, uh, yeah. You know, how's the tour going? Yeah, uh, <laughs> tour's going good. It's uh, it's day two with Animals as Leaders, um, and we've been out for about four or five days because we did a couple headliner shows to route out to this, and tomorrow they go to Mexico City, and we do a couple more headliners, and then we spend the rest of the month with them. So, but so far, so good, you know? So, uh... My YouTube channel is uh, all about nerdiness, and uh, so so. What are the, some of the things that maybe you would talk about with your band guys, whenever like you're just on the road? Whatever. Yeah. Like what what do you nerd out about? Um. So there's a, there's a handful of things. So amongst the band, uh, obviously being musicians, uh, we're all a bit of just audio nerds in terms of recording, live sound, and all of those things. Aside from that, uh, I'm a big video nerd. I love I love filming. I love editing. Um, that. So I'm actually, I'd probably say, um, movie nerd the most. Movie nerd. Yeah. All right. So what's the what's the biggest movie you've seen lately? Biggest movie. So I went and saw I went and saw Missing Link, which is a Leica film. We did uh, they did Coraline, um, so stop motion uh, right. stuff. So that yeah. was really really good. Um, I saw Captain Marvel. I saw Us. Um, did you see Endgame yet? I haven't seen Endgame yet, and the only reason I haven't is because my girlfriend and I go to the movies a lot, mm -hmm. and she's huge into Marvel, so I'm actually, she's flying out to LA, and then we're going to see it the next day, so we're actually waiting to see it together. What I like what they did with, with it, with, with setting it up with Infinity War, is just that Thanos isn't necessarily coming from a bad place with what right. he wants to achieve. He's just trying to make traffic better. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. He's sick of that rush hour shit. But it's like, it's like he knows that by doing that, it'll weed stuff out and the world will operate, or the universe will operate at a right. better, better pace. But, so it's interesting that they set it up like that, and that, you know, he's willing to sacrifice his daughter, who he loves, mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that, just for the better good, or his idea of the better good. Right. biggest issues is if I start a show, my girlfriend hates the same with movies. If I start something, I have to finish right. it. Right. But no matter if it's good, bad, like, for instance, uh, there was a show called Prison Break right. uh, forever ago. Right. It, the cheesiest goddamn show you could ever watch. My roommate watched, like, an episode or two. I ended up getting, I had to put my seatbelt on for fucking, <laughs> for seven seasons of the worst show ever, just because I, like, saw it, and I was just like, alright, this is what's happening. Right. So now I know, like, uh, with Breaking Bad or Game of Thrones, it's like, that's a lot of seasons i got to sit down and buckle in for. <laughs> but, it's, uh, but I love, like, like Ozarks is a great series. Oh, yeah, um, that's awesome. The color grade gets to me a little bit sometimes because they, they break the rules of color grading, and it's just way too blue for me at all times. Yeah. Literally everything is blue on that show. Um, but I do love it. I, love, I think Jason Bateman is just great playing. Yeah. And everything. Yeah, I love Jason. Um, but yes, I mean, I've been trying to think of some other shows. I've gone and seen some. What was? What did I see recently? That was the most god awful thing I've ever seen. Uh, Sherlock and Watson. Oh my god. I love Will Ferrell and I love John C. Riley. Yeah. But and I don't know if it was somewhere along the lines of like the the big guys up top like telling them to do certain things, but that movie was a true. It was just uh, uh, atrocious. It was so bad. <laughs> that's, that's what I heard. And I love bad movies, too. Yeah. And that's like, that movie was horrible. Like, I'll watch Blue Streak. And actually, Blue Streak's is a good movie. Well, like, <laughs> National Security. <laughs> right. And stuff like that. Like, right. a lot of Martin Lawrence's, like, B-side stuff. I love. Still good. Oh, yeah. Still that's good. Too. Yeah. Uh, Martin Lawrence. I have a soft, soft spot for Martin Lawrence and Steve's on. So, National Security. Obviously, right. really hits. Uh, Saving Silverman. Yeah, love yeah. Saving Silverman. Uh, even Strange Wilderness, which is like, it's I, good, I but it's like, okay, it. you know yeah, what I mean? It's, like, it's stupid, but it's supposed to be stupid. Exactly. Know? So, uh, 
what you into video games at all? I am. So I just started playing again recently. Grew up hardcore video games. I was always always a little bit more of a Nintendo guy myself. Um, you know, I had an NES, went to SNES. Uh, I remember getting my first N64 for Christmas. Yes. And to this day, one of the happiest moments of my life, and I can still remember it, I found uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time in the cupboard that my parents had hidden for Christmas. Nice. They had it like tucked away. And I found it, and I just remember, like, just squeezing as hard, my whole entire being as hard as I could, <laughs> just knowing I was going to get it for Christmas. And uh, that game is still to this day one of my all-time favorite games. And then obviously the Majora's Mask and all that follow-up. So, uh, for me, uh, like, I still remember when I got a Super Nintendo. I always thought Super Nintendo there was like never anything better. Yeah. Than that. I loved '64, but like. My mind was blown for Super Nintendo. But that's, yeah, SNES was great too. It actually has um, uh, uh, Smash TV, which is one of my Oh, yeah. Games. I can could, I could never get past the second level, though. I've only gotten past it once. Um, and I've never beaten the game. I've tried so many times. I've used cheat codes to get extra lives. Yeah. All that stuff, it's damn near impossible. That game is so brutal. It's chaos. Yeah. <laughs> so and I love that game. That's one of my all-time favorite yeah. games. Uh, obviously, like I have strong memories attached to like uh, Turtles in Time. Oh which yeah. I thought it was an amazing game. It's simple. You beat it in about thirty minutes, twenty minutes. You know, depending on how you're playing. And I just have memories of like my dad and I playing it on like lunch breaks and stuff. So it's like, that's cool. there's just so much. I think Nintendo is great at well, one, they're one of the first game consoles. They're great at capturing the nostalgia that they that from those days, right? And making sure all their big franchise titles like Zelda and Mario all have a little bit of what made them great to begin with, right? And then build upon that. And they're just it's they're great at it. And I just started playing Breath of the Wild, um, and it's it's amazing. It's so good. Oddly enough, um, I'm trying to remember the name of the Star Wars game uh, for N64. There was a Star Wars game. Um, oh God! Which one was that? It was one of the first games that came out for N64. They had it packaged with the N64. Uh, but I used to play that game, and I used to listen to Big Will. I always listen to Will Smith's Big Willie style. Yeah. While playing that game, right? I have a distinct memory of just having headphones on while jamming on that game. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I think about any time. Nice. <laughs> what do you think about Will Smith playing Genie? Um, I mean, <laughs> it looks a little. Uh, it's it's nothing against Will Smith. Right. I think I think he's a good, charismatic kind of goofy guy to play that role. Right. You know, obviously, Robin Williams did the voice for the the you know the animated movie. Um, so I think Will Smith is a good a good choice for that. I saw that the. The one image, and so I saw somebody redo it the way they would have wanted to see him with like a bigger jaw and stuff like that, oh, just right, more right. animated. Yeah, and I thought that was a lot cooler. Yeah, sometimes you just need that something that reminds me of that old school image, you know what I mean? Just to make it pop. One of my biggest disappointments was uh, Suicide Squad because I'm big on Batman. Batman. Right, so Batman's like first movie I ever saw in theaters was the original Batman with Michael Keaton. Right. Um, so, like, I just hold a special place in my heart for the Batman franchise. And Suicide Squad was, granted, obviously, no Batman, but, like, it's attached to the universe, and it right. was, I thought it was so bad. So bad. Jared Leto's Joker was, I was just not happy. Uh, so I collect action figures, and I'm going to bring something for all of my friends that do an interview with me. So... I brought him this. Damn. Dude. <laughs> you said you were a Batman kid, so I, I had a little something for you. Damn. Thank you. All right, man. Thanks for the interview, buddy. I appreciate it.